We're at it again. Yes. Our favorite is Dave. <laughs> Giving away money to veteran organizations. Man, this is so cool. Um, we um, are about to make our largest donation. To date. That we've ever made. Yeah. That's very exciting. We found a really cool veterans charity uh, here in Amarillo, Texas. And uh, we're going to take you along with us to, to introduce you to them, mm -hmm. show you about all the cool stuff that they're doing in the community here in Amarillo, Texas. And um, just a very cool story. Yeah. And we're not going to tell you exactly how much money that we're going <laughs> to give away today, but here's the big check. We love breaking out the big check yes. and <laughs> presenting that. So we're really looking forward to that. Yeah. And um, unlike any other one that we've ever done, uh, they're actually doing some training today. Yeah, so we'll get to see hands-on training. Yeah, never seen that before. Yeah. So we'll get to meet some cool people. We'll get to meet mm -hmm. some veterans. We'll get to meet some animals. That's a little bit of a giveaway of what kind of a veteran organization we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then we'll get to give away a bunch of money thanks to you. So mm -hmm. um, that's the reason that we came on before we actually get out there because we really just want to say thank you. Yeah. Because without you watching and donating and all the great things that you do, we are not able to do nope. anything like this. So all this is thanks to you. Stick around. We'll take you over there and show you the organization. And um, stick around to the very end because we're going to give away more money than we've ever given away. Yeah. Now we're here with the founder of Hope Lives here, Brooke. So Brooke, I'm always curious, I always love to hear the story of how organizations like Hope Lives Here started. Like there had to have been a moment That's where, a moment. the aha moment, where you're like, something's gotta change, I need to help, I gotta get involved. Tell us a little bit about that story. Well, um, I was diagnosed with uh, PTSD in 2003. Very shortly after that, I rescued a dog named Harley. Yeah. Oh. Um, and really in the end it was Harley that rescued me. Sure. Yeah. He basically saved my life and, and brought me out of a very dark time. Um, he died suddenly um, in 2011 mm -hmm. yeah. and the day he died I basically made a promise to myself that I would use our story to help others. Anytime you start a nonprofit, it's yeah. not always going to profit. <laughs> yeah. exactly. But um, you know we don't believe in giving up. We don't yeah. believe in quitting. COVID um, was a pretty scary time. Yeah but we prayed our way through it and, and we're still here. How many veterans have you assisted with pairing, pairing. with a service animal so far? About 75 or 80. Awesome. Wow. That is That's great. Awesome. And so when we make don like when we make the donation today or if anyone watching makes a donation to your organization, what is the greatest need right now? Where is the money going to? Well, um, generally our dogs come straight out of the shelter okay. and oftentimes they need uh, vet care. Vaccines. They need they need their vaccines and they need to get spayed and or neutered. Um, we have to pay adoption costs and things like that. Yeah. We also supply um, our veterans with everything they need. That's awesome. In the beginning. So. That's great. And how long of a process is it when you're pairing vet veterinary care training the until their the vet and the animal are ready to go? It, it generally takes anywhere from 9 to 12 months to complete no, the, the program. Okay. Wow. Do you have particular breeds that you look for as possible? We don't. We don't. No. Um, when we go to the shelter, we before dog selection, we pre-select four or five dogs based on um, the veteran's need and okay. lifestyle. Um, we also do lots of temperament testing on the dog to make sure that they're suitable right. for service dog work. Your website is awesome. Thank you. Uh, that's how we found you. Yeah. And uh, if you want to make a donation directly, it's super easy. It actually breaks down. Mm -hmm what your donation will go to, how much will go to it. Very transparent. Very, yeah, very transparent. So very cool. So you know exactly if you donate this much, it's going to go toward this. And uh, easy to, to navigate, very user friendly. Click on the donate button, be able to donate. Yep. Yeah. Anything else you want to add that we, that we didn't touch on that you'd like everyone to know? Uh, just, uh, I guess one thing would be that um, if you're not aware, 22 veterans die by a suicide daily. And you know, part of our mission is to cut that number down. Exactly. So support our troops and support your local veterans. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having thank us. You. It's been awesome. We enjoyed it. You. Come back anytime. Yeah, it's been awesome meeting your team. Yeah. So now we're going to interview some of the uh, the veterans who have been impacted by your organization, thank and you. we're going to make a donation. Yeah. 
Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. We've enjoyed it. Awesome. All right, now we're here with Ryan and Booker. It's Booker is your, your service animal. And um, so, first of all, how did you find Hope Lives Here? Through the VA doing physical therapy. Uh, had to, uh, had a couple of back surgeries. Yeah. And the, uh, I know. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yes, and so, once I learned about Hope Lives Here, it meant a lot to me because I had to medically retire uh, due to uh, uh, failed back surgery, so w once I started uh, doing physical therapy, and I was told about uh, Hope Lives Here and about it was a nonprofit, it really helped me out. Yeah, and so so Booker helps you mostly with physical physical stuff or Getting behavioral health stuff or, or all the above or all the above, especially yeah. because after my surgery, I closed down from sure. myself yeah, and I the world, that. Yeah. and then. Uh, he just he needs to be out going walking and so forces you to go. Yeah, she helps me go to church <laughs> and yeah. we sit on the outside yeah. but on the back. Yeah. yeah. But how old is Booker? Booker's three. Awesome. And how old, how long have you had Booker for? For two and a half years. Awesome. Wow. But for a year and a half I wasn't <laughs> doing anything with them. Yeah. Due to uh, my surgeries. Yeah. 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 And you served in the Navy? Yes. Okay, how long were you in the Navy for? What did you do? Four years, aviation ordinance. Oh, cool. Wow, very good. And then I went in the Army National Guard for six months, but I tore my meniscus. Dang. And so I got out medically discharged. So how, how drastically has your life changed pre-Hope Lives Here till now? I didn't leave the house. Yeah. I didn't get groceries. I didn't do anything oh, for myself. Wow. And then now it's, I'm getting out, I go places, and we train together. It's not like it's just training for him, it's, it's a benefit. And with Hope Lives Here, they're a big blessing like, to my heart, and I, I thank them. And I thank people like you guys for yeah. like, wow. helping out too. What would you say to a veteran who is maybe hesitant to reach out to an organization, some veteran that might need help, just give it a try yeah. and uh, at least visit the place if mm -hmm. you're going to be considering it and you'll see a life change. And, and I, can, I can feel the emotion, yeah. I can feel um, you know, how much this uh, organization means to you. So we definitely appreciate you getting out of your comfort zone yeah. and doing an interview with us today. We really appreciate that. Yeah. Yes. We appreciate you guys and for all you guys support too and with our with our uh, hope lives here and then what you guys do for the nation basically yeah thanks awesome thank you ryan it was awesome to meet you yes. awesome to meet booker 
appreciate your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you. Thank yes, you. thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So bonus today, not only we get to, uh, to interview one veteran, we get to interview two veterans. So this is Vincent and this is Tina. And Tina is very social and she loves to be hugged and scratched and petted and everything. So Vincent, tell us about your military service. Uh, what branch do you serve in? What would you do? Uh, so I was in the Marine Corps. I was oh, wow. doing that for a little over seven years. Okay. Started out as infantry and then uh, lab moved into heavy equipment. I had got medically retired for the injuries I sustained, which I ended up having a severe TBI. Um, so how old is Tina? Tina is two and a half yeah. right now. And how long have you had her for? I've had her since she was a puppy. Oh, you're a puppy. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. She yeah. is a sweetheart. Yeah. And um, so how did you hear about Hope Lives Here? Uh, I actually heard it from the VA whenever uh, I was going through the mental health clinic over there. Okay. Yeah. So what does Tina help you with? Uh, she pretty much helps me with everything. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, part of the injuries that I did end up receiving, I uh, broke my pelvic bone in two places. Oh, man. Yeah. Now, what would you say, I asked this to, to Ryan also, what would you say to a veteran who is kind of hesitant to get out there and get involved with an organization like Hope Lives Here, somebody that, that might be like secluded in their little bubble and kind of afraid to reach out? Looking for help isn't really gonna make you a less of a person. Right. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. it's not gonna show anybody that you're weaker, like it's actually, yeah you're stronger for actually knowing what your weaknesses are and wanting to help. I'm glad that your, your story is ending well. I'm glad you found your Tina. <laughs> yeah. And you guys are doing well. And thank you so much for coming on camera with us today and talking with us. It was awesome to meet you. Thank you for your service and for your sacrifice. We appreciate you. Thanks for coming. All right, cool. Well, thank you, Brooke, so much for having us out here to, to visit with you guys and see all the cool training that you guys are doing and all the great work that you're doing in the in the veteran community out here introduce us to your team and tell us what they do as a part of your organization this is cheyenne and she is a dog trainer service dog trainer awesome. this is rebecca and she is our office manager oh cool and you are the founder i am the founder awesome. yes, sir. <laughs> yeah how long have you guys been doing this for six years awesome Just 2015. Cool. Well, we definitely appreciate you. Uh, we always try to find great organizations like yours. I think we hit a home run with finding your organization and being able to help out. And actually, uh, this is the largest check that we've ever presented. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's bigger than any. So we are very excited about it. Yeah. We were actually talking about it off camera at home a little bit. Yeah. We were so excited. These are our favorite days. You know, yeah. we love to travel. We love adventure. We love getting out there. But but when we were able to, to donate. Uh, money to veteran organizations it is it is awesome and it's all because of you who are watching and thank donating and everything you. that we're able to do this so thank you so much for that yeah. so because I, he gets all giddy i love it yeah. so Excellent. i will let uh leslie do the honors and presenting the big check we love the big check <laughs> yeah our big check yeah and this quarter's donation we were able to donate nineteen hundred dollars oh, Thank you. Awesome. Wonderful, sweet. wonderful. We are so happy you're here yes. today. We enjoyed it very much. Well, thanks for having Come us. Come back yes, anytime. Yeah. yeah, and if you want to know how you can donate to Hope Lives Here, they have an awesome website. It yes. breaks down for you exactly where your donation goes and how much goes to what. Um, for us, we are not a nonprofit, so uh, we appreciate you donating to us to help us out. But if you want that, that tax deduction, uh, donate directly to Hope Lives Here. We'll put a link to everything you need to know down in the description of the video below. We appreciate you guys so much for having we us. We appreciate you. Thank, Thank you for so coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help vets while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of this video. We appreciate you so much for watching, donating, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.